Social entrepreneurship started back in the 80s when a so-called marketing trend called, um, what was it again? Oh, yeah, cause-related marketing uh, was used more frequently by those businesses because they found out that linking a cause to or social cause to their product or their services boosted their, uh, if you want, adaptability to attract customer and maintain their loyalty. So, now that I got your attention, and I hope that I got it, my name is Shawi Fakhouri. I graduated from this school. I got my BBA at the American University of Jamhur. The American University of Jamhur, nice one. <laughs> okay, at the American University of Beirut, Jamhur all over the place. And I am actually and currently working at Beritech, uh, empowering startups and SMEs at the national and regional level. And at the same time, I'm a volunteer at the Lebanese Red Cross since 2018. Thank you. The clap is supposed to be at the end. Um, okay, so let's come back to social entrepreneurship with a quick introduction or a quick, if you want, uh, definition. Social entrepreneurship or a social enterprise is a for-profit company that at the same time focuses all or mostly all its resources into generating an impact. Okay, so this impact mainly like an NGO. So what makes it, if you want, stand in the middle of both those two sectors and what makes it unique in its way. What I'm going to show you here is why I fell in love with this field and how I was able to mimic its different type of behavior into rebuilding myself. So in order to get started, I'm going to, if you want, divide this into three parts and you'll understand all over the way what I was tr trying to do and what I was aiming for. We live nowadays in a time or in a place or in a world that is in a state of crisis, okay? So from military and political tension to an economic recession at our doorstep to all the different small or big battles that each one and everyone here is fighting. I am and I was, actually, I was and I am still fighting my own battles from anxiety to PTSD, or even uh, burnout. What helped me stand back on my feet, or what helped me actually go through this chaotic uh, environment was what I would call later a uh, sustainable growth type of behavior. What I mean by that, and how I met actually all the criterias in the sustainable growth, was when I understood the impact sustainability, or if you want, social entrepreneurship through sustainability can have on a community and ask myself, why couldn't I apply it to myself? What was missing? So, on a first level, I'm going to talk about two, two types of behavior. The first one, resilience, and the second one, adaptability, where without one and another, you're going to create this burst of energy that will quickly fade away, that will not last over time, and that will create a toxic environment around you. If you didn't understand, let me explain it in a more concrete example. The Lebanese youth. For the past five years, the Lebanese youth has been, or have been, mainly the most community, or the most, uh, if you want, generation impacted by the events that we all went through. And what was the, what was the response? What was your response to that? We've become, re we've become resilient to this, we've become resilient to that. I got used to this, I got used to that. Eh, hey, this is what happens every day. On the dollar, on the dollar, there's no benzene, there's no carbon. Let's go, let's go. This is what we've uh, actually been doing for the past five years. And what was a response or an answer from our generation? Brain drain. We all left. No one's here anymore. No one sees a future here in Lebanon. Why? It's... Very, it's very logic. We thought, or we thought that we could, if in a way, um, handle all the stress, all the pressure caused by the external environment and get used to it. But without adapting to this change, without trying to aim or strive for a positive uh, outcome, or for a better, if you want, positive outcome, this would quickly fade away, make you leave the country with a, feel, with a feeling of disgust, a feeling of burnout, a feeling of not belonging here anymore, trying to find a brighter future outside of this country or this so-called now toxic environment. So what 
we can learn here from social entrepreneurship, and at least what I can learn from, or what I learned from social entrepreneurship, is to really always turn a bad uh, position or bad decision into a positive or good outcome by trying to adapt to this change and trying to make it a better solution. The second pole of this trait or of this type of behavior falls under sustainability. Sustainability is a key, uh, if you want, factor or a key success factor of success for social entrepreneurship. It aims to social fi finance, sorry, finance sustainability or human resource sustainability or even uh, human resource sustainability. What they try to do by aiming for sustainability of what, what we're supposed to do by trying to aim for sustainability is to lengthen our project or lengthen our action over time by also trying to maximize our output to the fullest and thus having a positive and greater outcome. So what we should be doing here and what I want you to try and do here is first of all, like me, stop for a moment, look around you, start grasping all the information that you have, see all the resources that you can grasp, grasp every opportunity that is presented in front of you and just think long term. Stop thinking about short term this, short term that, short term goal, short term, uh, uh, short term, what, what uh, you tell me, short term, whatever. Just grasp it, take your time, and I can assure you that on the long run, you will see some positive change and you will be able to start and get out of this toxic behavior. Now, the last and final poll, and for me, which is the most important one, of these three uh, different traits would be to, as the marketeers back in the 80s have identified as highly, uh, if you want, effective, is to link anything you do, you do to a social cause. What I mean by that is not just go out and help a complete stranger or just go out and like be uh, a good person to everyone you meet. What I'm trying to do or say here is start by yourself or start by the close circle that is around you and just be impactful, have a positive impact because the power of giving, the power of having an impact while doing something that you either like or don't will tremendously have an impact on yourself in terms of self-discipline, self-confidence and of course efficiency. So in order to wrap this up, you should if you want, memorize three things from my speech. Have a sustainable approach to everything that you do. Have an adaptive and resilient mind while doing these things. And of course, never forget to have an impact and try to make this world a better place. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed it.